At the 13th BG ICC 2021, I will be discussing uh, surveillance in women who have had breast cancer. It is a very important topic to discuss, uh, especially with the increasing incidence of uh, breast cancer across the world, as well as uh, increased uh, utilization of adjuvant treatments, which has led to uh, longevity and increase in the uh, life expectancy of uh, these women, which means these women will be available for further uh, imaging tests and uh, making sure that they are safe for the rest of their uh, lives and remain cancer free. So survivors are at increased risk of developing a second breast cancer than an average risk or a general population. We, we know that there is risk of local recurrence. There is risk of uh, developing another cancer in the same breast or the contralateral breast. And if that occurs, sometimes there may be distant metastasis. So it is important that these women remain under imaging surveillance in order to improve not only their survival, but also the quality of their life. In this particular talk, we will be going through briefly what are the NCCN guidelines for surveillance of uh, these women uh, who have been treated successfully for a breast cancer. We will also go through a few ASCO guidelines to come up with an overall understanding of what would be the most appropriate way of looking at these women um, and seeing them in our breast imaging departments. There are many different scenarios uh, which will be available based on what kind of treatment uh, the women choose or the women get. Um, also, whether these women are average risk women or high risk women, because the type of surgery may, may vary. For example, in a high risk woman, they, the woman may choose to have a mastectomy or she may choose to have uh, a contralateral prophylactic mastectomy. So there are many different considerations uh, in, in this, um, in how we need to um, look at these women. So the first scenario obviously is breast conservation treatment, uh, wherein the, the native breast is still present and the patient has received some adjuvant treatments um, as well. So how would we follow these women up? Um, then how would we follow women who have had unilateral mastectomy? Do we really need to do something about it? And then of course, bilateral mastectomy. And then there are different types of mastectomies that are being offered now. Was it a nipple sparing mastectomy? Is it a skin sparing mastectomy? And what kind of augmentation or reconstruction has been performed after the mastectomy? So all these factors are gonna really determine how we are gonna follow um, these women and make sure that we detect any new cancers at an early stage. So if we just can summarize uh, what the current recommendations are, Generally, it is recommended that any woman who does have native breast left in the form of breast conservation or a unilateral mastectomy, uh, these women should undergo annual surveillance with mammography. There is no evidence that breast MRI should be offered to these women as a routine test unless there is some specific risk factors such as these women are high risk women like BRCA gene mutation, uh, lifetime risk more than 25% or they have a history of mantle radiation. So specific high risk um, situations uh, are the only times when MRI should be offered routinely for surveillance. Otherwise, an annual mammography uh, would be the most appropriate test. Uh, there is uh, also evidence to suggest that women with dense breast tissue uh, according to the American College of Radiology recommendations, women with dense breast tissue and a personal history of breast cancer uh, certainly benefit from utilization of MRI if it is available. There are many uh, situations or places uh, where this kind of MR facility may not be available, such as in Canada, uh, we are not able to offer uh, breast MRI for women with uh, dense breast tissue. So it all depends really on the availability, but most importantly, annual surveillance mammogram should be performed for any woman who has had um, breast cancer treatment and does have some native breast tissue um, left back. In a woman with mas a mastectomy uh, with no reconstruction, there really doesn't have any um, uh, indication. There's no need to perform any kind of imaging on a flat 
a uh, chest wall, any tumor that develops will be immediately palpable. So clinical exam is the exam of choice on the mastectomy site uh, that has received no reconstruction. Women who receive autologous um, um, reconstruction, there is not enough evidence that these women should be screened routinely. And it really depends on the local understanding or local uh, protocols as to how you want to follow uh, these women with uh, ipsilateral, um, you know, or bilateral reconstruction, particularly those with autologous uh, reconstruction. So there are many different considerations and scenarios that we need to look at. And I'm hoping uh, that through this talk, we can, uh, um, you know, come up with a proper uh, algorithm of how women uh, with uh, breast cancer treatment uh, should be followed uh, for the rest of their lives. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.